You see, coming prepared is what's important. It begins with a decision. It begins with preparation. It begins with you. It's more than a hobby. It's a lifestyle. You are your greatest stock. Go invest. Being physically fit echoes into every area of our lives. Being prepared echoes even more so. Being honest with yourself, striving for precision, not accuracy, in everything that you do is what separates. It's more than just a brand. It's a culture. Yeah. I feel like I'm quick. I feel like you move by things speed. I, I do. Did you see that? Did you see it? No, no. Look, I just got my phone from the car. You thought the flash was fast? You guys all froze when I did that. Does that mean like when you fuck and you on a blink, you just Ugh. already like you're just so. <laughs> No, because I slow time down, you know? Because I'm so fast, the time slows down. If you had a superpower, would you want to be super fast or would you be able to freeze time? I mean, being super fast means like time freezes for you. No, That's because then you're, if you're having sex, then you're done. You can't even enjoy it. I'm so down. fast that everything else is slow. See what I'm saying? I'm going to slow down time. Because then imagine, listen, hear me out. Ready? Like really this. Slow. Like me when I'm about to bust a nut and your girl. Like this. Wow. Ah! So I could enjoy that nut like for like 10 years. I could come for 10 years. Just like. <laughs> See? I'm fast. Oh. <laughs> and I shit on her chest. All right. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. Or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could conceive. And after several nights of 75 years of total pleasure each, you would say, well, wow, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. And finally, you would dream where you are now. Dude. You need a partner sometimes to push you. That's a fucking fact. I would have I was ready about to walk out straight up. Just grabbed my keys, I was like, yeah, I'm done. Got my heavy deadlift in. But I know the stuff that normally for you guys to notice too, stuff that you're really not good at is the stuff you need to do more of. This shit, I am the worst at. Like I can lift heavy weight all day, go for ones and twos, but volume, my legs fucking hate it. And that's exactly what I needed to get a good workout today. So challenge yourself. The things that you know are more difficult for you, very, very often are times the things that are gonna make you are the things that are gonna make you much, much better. So don't skip them. Sometimes you need someone to fucking push you. So, good shit. Thank you, bro. What's your name? Armin. Proud, good to meet you, bro. So, I flew down from New York with my brother, he's coming over here. I yeah. just wanna say how um, it's crazy how I'm, I can't even talk to him. I recently went through a breakup in September and one of your videos popped up and I was like, oh shit. And I was always thinking about working out, but then I saw your video, I saw you were like crazy. And then I started going to the gym. I just wanna say, 
crazy impact on the people, crazy impact on the new kids. I want to say thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for sharing with me. You're so young, bro. Like, you know, breakups and shit, like, just so you know, you are never going to grow up and never deal with that, you know? It's very unlikely that, like, the first person you meet and have a relationship with is, like, the one forever. So, not that it can't be, but at the same time, like, just know that going through, like, harder parts of your life sooner than later sometimes can be a good thing. It, you can, it takes time to grow from those things. I have all learning experiences to make us better. You should know them. Like, I can say anything, but for you to take it and, like, make it a part of your life is a completely different thing. Like, you had to have the power to do that. But, uh, Sylvia, I just want all love. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for sharing. I swear to God, she came up to us, yeah, showed us funny. a video. She didn't cry, but her eyes were watery. I swear to God. It was a bad angle. It's not even just the angle. Like, if that happens, it means... Yeah, but it's like seven minutes ago, I got a different shot of her. She goes, oh, I look skinny. Yeah, I swear to God. I, I swear to God. that, but it's like... I look skinny. But that's just a bad angle. That's the thing. Like, look. <laughs> the internet. Seriously, guys. It's all angles. Bodybuilding. Angles. Why do you think they pose? Why do you think they have transitions? All that stuff is about angles. She got a really bad angle. She shot like a downward shot, like a pier. I was doing this. And it, she was mad about this right here. It's, oh you also have God. a really tight top on. Oh my God. <laughs> sure. no. men, men like that. Men, yeah, maybe, maybe. Fair. You want meat in the thighs. You want meat in the ass. Like. Okay, but boys, vote. We like a little bit of meat. We like stick figure. Just let me know if you like really, really skinny. Listen, it's your preference. Doesn't no, matter. You don't want this, boys. You don't want to squeeze on but this at night. Without a little bit of this. You, you lose a lot of bit of that. I think 99% of people choose that. Vote below, what do you guys think? I'm voting team, team thick, team meat, let's go baby. Solid. Bro, listen, like before, like you and Nelk, like you and Steve, like collabing, like I watch you guys all the time, bro. But like before that, like when you were with like Dom, like doing those like collabs and shit, like I watched all of it. Like I've been watching you since day one. But I watched, I've been watching Nelk since day one too. And you guys, like it's like crazy. Now you guys are like both together and shit. Yeah, yeah, I Yeah, you gotta train. Don't be a pussy. What is you? Don't be pussies. Well, I don't care where you train, you just gotta train. Let's go, baby. Don't go. be a pussy. Of course. You, you gotta train, man. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> all right, all right. I, mean, <laughs> I mean that. I promise. <laughs> you, just, you just can't be a bitch. You know, you gotta train. Well, he said he watched me before I ever did any videos with them. And he watched them before they ever did videos with me. So it was like, it was like the Avengers fucking meeting up and like jerking each other off in videos, apparently. <laughs>